वेलकम बैक द टॉपिक इज कॉन्टेक्स फ्री ग्रामर एंड रेगुलर लैंग्वेज एज यू नो अकॉर्डिंग टू द चाम्स की हायर आर की रेगुलर लैंग्वेजस् आर् दि सबसेट्स आफ् दि कॉन्टेक्स्ट फ्री लैंग्वेजस् मीनिंग दैट रेग्युर् ग्रामर्स आर् दि सबसेट आफ् दि कॉन्टेक्स्ट फ्री ग्रामर्स ओके ई कैन प्रूव दिस स्टेटमेंट बै यूजिंग दि two theorems so theorem 1 is every regular language is generated by context free grammar meaning that for every regular language there exists a context free grammar according to chomsky hierarchy so let me prove this see take the language l accepted by the finite automata mission let's say nfa or dfa m equals to q sigma transition q not comma f for the same language there exists a grammar g i mean context free grammar g equals to v comma t comma p comma s so how you convert your mission into the grammar means all states in the mission can be treated as the variables in the grammar input symbols to the mission can be treated as the terminals in the grammar initial state in the mission can be treated as the starting symbol in the grammar transitions are converted into the productions let me tell you how transitions are converted into the productions for example i have a transition of q0 with a equals to q1 this is one of the transition in the mission how we can write equivalent production to this one is q not tends to a q1 okay let's take one more transition for example i have another transition q1 comma b equals to q2 let's assume q2 is final state so how we can write the equivalent production to this transition is q1 tends to b q2 since you assume q2 is final state that's why you add one more b slash b oh, i mean one more production like q1 tends to b okay so let me take one example so that we can prove this theorem statement yeah the given example is the regular language is a b followed by any number of a's and b's if you are able to construct the grammar for this language context free grammar for this language then you can say this theorem 1 is true a meaning that for every regular language there exists a context free grammar i mean as well as context free language okay see first construct mission for this language mission m equals to first draw the mission what is the input symbols is a and b so a b followed by any number of a's and b's how we can draw the mission is starting state q0 so first symbol is a next state is q1 then next symbol is b next state is q2 any number of a's and b's so self loop with a comma b make it as the final state so this is the mission m definition m equals to q comma sigma comma transition comma q not comma f okay where q is q0 q1 q2 sigma is a comma b and transitions are these are all transitions q not is q not f is q2 now i'm 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 going to construct the grammar for this context free grammar for this mission g equals to v comma t comma p comma s where v equals to i told you in the theorem and its proof consider all states as the variables q0 q1 comma q2 then terminals is i mean input symbols to the mission is considered as the terminal symbols in the grammar a comma b s equals to starting state in the mission that is equals to q0 then productions are how we can write the productions are 
take this transition what is this transition q0 with a equals to q1 transition of q0 with a equals to q1 so how we can write the production for this is q0 tends to a q1 then one more transition so transition of q1 with b equals to q2 you observe q2 is the final state okay so how we can return it this as the production is q1 tends to b q2 since q2 is final state add one more b then next transition is transition of q2 with a equals to q2 so how we can write the production for this is q2 tends to a q2 since q2 is final state add one more a then last transition is transition of q2 comma b equals to q2 q2 is final state then how you can write the production for this is q2 tends to b q2 so q2 is final state that's why add one more b so these are all the productions so for a regular language there exists a context free grammar you, you how you can say this is context free grammar lhs contains exactly single non terminal rhs can contains any combination of terminals and non terminals including epsilon also that's why it is context free grammar the conclusion statement is for every language there exists a context free grammar then let me take one more theorem theorem 2 is the language generated by a regular context free grammar is a regular language or or every regular grammar generates a regular language so let me prove this take one context free grammar g equals to v comma t comma p comma s for this grammar if you construct the nfa mission m equals to q sigma transition q not comma f where variables in the grammar is considered as the states in the mission terminals in the grammar is considered as the input symbols to the mission then starting symbol in the grammar is considered as the starting state in the mission then productions are going to be converted into the transitions by using the following rules for example i have a production like q0 tends to a q1 so how you can add the transition for this is uh, by writing like transition of q0 with a equals to q1 let's take one more production let's i have a production like q1 tends to a how we can add the transition for this production in the mission is transition of q1 with a equals to it should be a final state take the new final sta new state it is the final state this is how okay so after constructing mission for this grammar you find out what is the language generated by this mission or the language accepted by this mission if that language is a regular language then our theorem is true okay so let me check this theorem by taking one example the given example is construct the language generated for the following grammar so this grammar g equals to v comma t comma p comma s now i am asking you to construct an nfa mission generated by this grammar m equals to q sigma transition q not comma f so how we can construct the nfa mission is variables are mapped to the states terminals are mapped to the input symbols and s is mapped to the q0 and production should be converted to the transitions let me draw the figure okay see this production s tends to so i am taking s is the starting state with input symbol a next state is a s with input symbol is b so meaning that it is going to be final state as i told you in the proof also so final state i am taking it as the b now a tends to small a capital a meaning that a with input symbol a next state is a it's a self state then 
a with a meaning that it is going to be final state so a with a is the final state okay now this is the mission what are the states is yes a b input symbols is a b these are all the transitions final state is b starting state is yes now identify what is the language generated by this uh, mission first uh, let me write down the regular expression see what is the regular expression is this is this is one path this is one path this is union okay how we can write it is b plus a followed by any number of years so a a closer so what is the regular expression is b plus a a closer what is the regular language is b union a a closer okay so hence for a grammar we generated the mission nfa mission or dfa mission this mission generates the regular language so the theorem 2 is proved so this is what about the context free grammar and regular language